can tell you this if you are not a tither, you end up a beggar. Somebody says, if you don't pay your tithe, you will go to hell, you will not go to heaven. Full stop. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop. Say, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. The prerequisite for heaven is not tithe, the prerequisite for heaven is Jesus. Dr. Ebe Damina calls out Pastor Enoch Adeboe the second time over heaven is not for you if you're not a titan. According to him, he said that no, he said no to that, that we disagree with that statement. We have other pastors here, we have pastors that debate tithes and others. Please, we want, I want you guys to watch the video. I'll be back. Thank you. Things like fasting and prayer, they were all practiced on under what you call the law, the Mosaic Covenant, in those dispensations. Uh -huh. And we do the same today. Uh -huh. We fast today. Uh -huh. we, we pray today. Nobody complains about it. Uh -huh. Why is it that the tithe alone is an issue? Uh -huh. And it's an issue because it is the tithe alone that gives God authorization to rebuild the devourer. We look like now we, we, we want your man, and we don't want your man. Let me tell you something, any Christian who doesn't tithe will never see heaven. It's not possible. You can't. Thank you, man of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Not whoever pays tithe. Moreover, tithe is not New Testament. Tithe is not New Testament. In the New Testament, we have generosity. We have generosity. People give liberally. People give generously. People give cheerfully. And people give with understanding in response to what God has already done. To support the work of God. To support the ministers of the gospel. And they give generously to support brethren who are in need. No manipulation. No cajoling. No intimidation. That's legalistic. That's the Old Testament. And Jesus fulfilled the demands of the Old Testament and took it out of the way. For full details on tithe and tithing, you can visit YouTube. Just type tithe and tithing. Abel Damina is part 1 to 15. You can go there, watch the whole teaching and get the full exegesis and come to a clear understanding. But we give a defense. We give a reason of the hope. If you don't tithe, your life will be tight. <laughs> Look at you. Miserable eh? and unhappy. Hey! Fabricated stories. So a seed to tap into grace. Okay. So a seed for a breakthrough. Okay. Your offering will remove your suffering. <laughs> if you don't tight, it will be tight. The heavier your sacrifice, the weightier your breakthrough. All that is fraud. If you don't give your tithe, God is going to get you. That can't be right. You can never arrive at the truth when you take a scripture out of context. Tithing is not liberality. Continue. It's how we keep alive. It's how we stop God's hand from killing us. <laughs> Tithing's not giving anything. That belongs to God. He's giving back what he wants. And what he requires. And what will keep you from going to hell if you give it. Jesus Christ. Fatal error. That, that requires eternal apology. Hmm. Former regulation, which is the time, was set aside because it was weak and useless. Everybody believes Continue. that God has an open heaven order of blessings for his people. Yeah. Continue. But see, it takes your tithing to qualify for it. <laughs> Genesis 14 verse 20. Abraham gave him the tithe of all, all. All provided it's an income, whether that income came by favor or came by salary, it is a tithe of all. Abraham never tithed from his personal money or his personal possessions because tithing was never money, it was always from the land, from the spoils. He tithed from the spoils of the enemy. That means I have to go rob a bank and tithe. I am telling you my practice with no scriptural backing is <laughs> a shame. Is a shame. You do not confront doctrinal issues with sentiments and emotions. When doctrine kibatana, let me not enter this thing. Don't don't tempt me. 
If you ask the devil, one of the greatest problems on this earth today is this short man. So if I'm not smart enough to secure my life, he would devastate me. Boy, he can't reach me. We, I serve a covenant keeping God. I will rebuke. I won't want you to do it. Just leave me to him. He said, what's your name, Devorah? I rebuke you. Stay off that environment. This church began tightening on a business scale. That is, we calculate what it is in everything and tight it. See the protection. See the preservation. See the lips and bands of God's blessings. See how untouchable the system is. To devour. See how untouchable it is. That's how it works. When falsehood becomes an institution, truth looks like a rebellion. When falsehood becomes an institution, fruit becomes rebellion. Disorderliness has become order. That is what has happened. The church world has embraced Kia. So now that we have brought revelation, we look like rebels. Even Jesus validated that Titan is biblical. <laughs> Matthew chapter 23 verse number 23 Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees Hypocrites Hypocrites, Hypocrites. <laughs> For you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin And have omitted the weightier matters of the law So tithe is of the law Jesus said that Was yeah. Jesus teaching tithing? No what was he doing in Matthew 23? So somebody's going to say, well, right there, yeah, Jesus, Jesus is saying Jesus we should tithe. Well, again, context. What is context? Uh, is Jesus telling us that we need to tithe? Well, no. He was saying that, uh, you know, those who were still living under the Mosaic Covenant, they needed to continue to carry out the requirement of the Mosaic Covenant. Yes. Where did the apostles and prophets pay tithe? Nowhere. We are the Jesus, the cornerstone collector. Nowhere. Case closed. Yes. Some of you quote Matthew 23, verse 23, as your excuse for not paying your tithe. Matthew 23, verse 23. Let me read it to you. Because they said, no, 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 no. Tithing is done the way we, like Jesus said so. Really? Matthew 23, verse 23. Want to use scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye pay tithe of mint and armies and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. What does that mean? You should have considered the weightier matters of law, judgment, a mercy and not leave the other. What is the other? Your titan are done. In other words, you are supposed to do both. Pay your tithes, consider weightier matters of law, judgment, and mercy. Do both. Okay, let's go back, please. Let's now go back again and analyze for ourselves. Some of you quote Matthew 23, verse 23, as your excuse for not paying your tithe. Matthew 23, verse 23, let me read it to you. Because they said, no, 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 tithing is done the way we, like Jesus said so. Really? 
Matthew 23, verse 23. Since you do not rebel against falsehood, you say it is because it's an elder, elder word, elder word. Is he, a, is he more elderly than the Bible? Is he older than the Holy Ghost? Elder word. So, because a man is an elder, I should sit down, he should rub rubbish on my head. I respect his head, but I don't respect his principles. Leave that him. Leave that thing. Elder word, you render the blood of Jesus useless, you render the sacrifice of Christ useless, you render the finished work of Christ useless, and you want me to keep quiet? My loyalty is to Christ. I have no loyalty to any man that is not loyal to Christ because that man did not die for my sins, and I cannot allow a mortal man who cannot save a fly cast as passion on the finished work of Christ who died for all of mankind. Shout, I hear, I hear. We are turning the order around. We are fixing things in their place. Our apostolic assignment will be fulfilled in our time. If your amen is louder, you will be a partaker. I have never seen where knowledge bowed to illiteracy. I have never seen where knowledge bowed to illiteracy. So your old father in the village that cannot speak English. So when you went and your father said I was chemist. So because your father, an old man, grandfather said I am chemist. So you too, you start saying I am chemist. In fact, you should correct him. Daddy, that's not how they used to say it. It is, I am coming, not I am chemist. You correct your father because knowledge does not bow before illiteracy. Illiteracy bows before knowledge. Light does not bow before darkness. Darkness bows before light. Somebody shout, I hear you. How can we have light like this? And, and we sit down in this church and somebody say, if you don't pay tight, you will not make heaven. And we keep quiet. I have not even started shouting. I have not even started shouting. I'm warming my voice up. The internet will break very soon. We will break the whole internet. God punish the devil. Jesus, you know what it took for Jesus to die to save a man? And you reduce the work of Christ to 10%? Is that how stingy a man can be? Equating Jesus to 10%? Not even 100%, 10%? <laughs> Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, I'm grateful. You guys have seen it, you have watched this video. Now, I want us to go into the scripture. Uh, well, let's read where Pastor Enoch Adeboye claim that that place is he's talking about heaven. Heaven is you know, not for you if you're not a tither. You talk about Matthew 23, 23. Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. I'm reading from New, I'm reading New King James Version, okay? New King James says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of meat and anise and cumin, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matter of the law. You have neglected what the, he the, the heavier matter of the law. So, meaning these people they pay tight, their consign is tight, their focus was on tightening. Nothing consigned them consign righteous life, nothing consigned them consign holy life, nothing consigned them consign things that partake of men. All uh, and heaven, all their consign was tightened. They thought that tight paying tight can fetch heaven for them. They thought that paying tight can make said I am chemist. So you too, you start saying I am chemist. In fact, you should correct him. Daddy, that's not how they used to say it. It is I am coming, not I am chemist. 
you correct your father because knowledge does not bow before illiteracy illiteracy bows before knowledge light does not bow before darkness darkness bows before light somebody shout i hear you how can we have light like this and and we sit down in this church and somebody say if you don't pay tight you will not make heaven and we keep quiet i've not even started shouting i have not even started shouting i'm warming my voice up the internet will break very soon we will break the whole internet god punish the devil jesus you know what you took for jesus to die to save a man and you reduce the work of christ to 10 percent is that how stingy a man can be equating jesus to 10 percent not even 100 percent 10 percent 